here's DBJ. It, it is me. I'm going to talk about um, best players. Um, sorry, best characters. Uh, in this one, I'm going to say the best characters fit into the world. And uh, in general, I think most people are really, really good at this. But what I mean about fitting into the world is that along with being unique, your character also is part and parcel of the world that your uh, game master or dungeon master or flame tender is running. So what I, what I mean by that, um, let's say you're the person running the games says uh, there are no other races than human. We're, every character is going to be human. Uh, we're just different ethnic types and uh, variations off of um, modern day uh, Earth. Uh, we're just all going to be humans, and you come in with a character and say, well, I really want to play uh, a drow elf. I want to be a dark elf. He's got dark skin. He comes from the underworld. And your game master then tries not to roll his eyes and take a deep breath and tell you hell no. Now, your game master's going, oh, my God. Here's this guy. He wants to play a He always wants to play a dark elf. And we already talked about this. So your game master tries to shoehorn your character concept into the world. So then he comes to you and says, well, instead of playing a dark elf, how about you play like one of my human races, but they are dark-like. Uh, they're into necromancy, they're evil, uh, they have uh, dark skin, um, they're not really related to uh, Africans of our world. I have my own cultures for them, but that's what they look like. And you as the player, who, going out of your way, trying not to fit in, goes, no, I want to play a drow elf. And this is, this is where, you know, if you agree to play in someone's world, and remember, you're making one character, your game master's making the entire world, put forth the effort to fit into the world. The, the more you try to go outside the box, racially, character concept, from where you're from, the organizations your character belongs to, uh, your character concept, the further you go outside the box, the harder it is for your game master to put forth effort just for you to make you fit into a game with everyone else. Believe me, if you want your character to, to shine you really need to put forth the effort to have your character fit into that game world. It, not only is it disruptive, in many ways, when you do that, it's, it's being disrespectful. Um, it would be like someone saying, um, hey, I'm gonna, I want to run a Pathfinder game. It's, it's kind of medieval. What kind of character do you want? And someone says, well, I, I want to play a Jedi with, you know, force powers and lightsaber. And you're going, well, I don't know, you can play a, we can get you to maybe play a cleric or a monk cleric, and you can get some magic items. No, I want to play a Jedi. What? You know, and I, I heard that on, I guess it was like Fear the Boot uh, podcast or something. Hope I'm giving the correct credit for that. But um, please, make characters that fit into the world. Ask your game master what kind of organizations there are, what races do you allow, what countries are there? And yeah, okay, we all want to be unique. We want to be on the fringes. We want to be someone that, that sticks out, that's the hero. So you can do that. You can say, well, I want to be from an assassin's order, but I want to, I'm against everything they stand for. Or I, I'm from this uh, nation of uh, law-abiding citizens, but I feel like they're being... Um, they're, they're being too ham-fisted with, with the law or something like that. Well, yeah, okay, you can have a different opinion of what the Game Master has stated, but you're trying to fit into that world. Um, other ways to fit into the world. Create contacts. You know, uh, too often we have characters that are they're complete orphans, they don't know anybody, they're completely mysterious. Boring. You know, make characters that have family, they have friends. They've had a, a history in this world. And they can, all you need are just little simple seeds. I got an uncle that lives in this town. My mom and dad live in a village. I was raised in, a, in, um, 
in a school that was in this uh, great university. I was uh, raised by woodland priests. Come up with, j j all you need is just one line answers, fit into the world, talk with your, uh, your uh, game master, find out what, what they approve, what they do not approve, and uh, please don't, don't be disrespectful. Uh, players that are disrespectful to game masters include trying to tear down, destroy, uh, dismantle the game that they went out of their way to create for you for your entertainment. So that's all. Please be creative. Don't be destructive, guys. Thanks.